Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 16th of June 2024. I hope you are keeping well, enjoying your weekend. There's not much left of our weekend here in Bangkok. It's evening time, it's my Sudoku at bedtime. Now I have actually played three games today, but once in a while I deign to play the Los Angeles Times Impossible Sudoku game. Uh, now, is it impossible? Well, clearly not, because I've managed to finish it every time I've played it. Uh, but is it tough? Y the answer is yes, usually. And does it usually involve a Sudoku technique? I'm going to say usually. Although I must admit, the last time I attempted this, uh, I saw how it could have been done without pencil marks even, um, after I'd finished it. But I, I mean, I started using candidates from the beginning. But I suspect that's a one-off. So I shall be using pe pencil marks from the beginning uh, again uh, today uh, when I play this game because, uh, as I say, it usually involves some kind of Sudoku thing, some kind of Sudoku technique at the end. Uh, and for me, that means using candidates. I don't like to play the game notation-free, but uh, plenty of people in the comments section do enjoy playing the game in that way. So more power to your elbow, as they say in London. Um, right, so shall we jump into it then? So as I say, impossible Sudoku, once a week it appears and uh, I can see, I'll put in some easy numbers if I can see some easy numbers. I can see something. Uh, I can see that 2 and 4 block this square which is going to put 2 and 4 there. So I can see that I'm going to get myself a 6 there. So I'll do that very quickly. I'll have a quick look around the grid, see if there's anything uh, easy. We've got ones in those squares and up there. And there and down there as well. This looks like a bit like a symmetric. Oh, I see something. Look, three and eight there, three and eight down there. So we found ourselves a pair of three and eight. What does it mean? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, Three and eight. One. Anyway, I don't, I don't want to spend too much. I'm gonna. <laughs> I, I I don't want to like um you know spend a lot of time looking for stuff. Let's just look for anything super easy first of all, and then I shall put the candidates in, and save time, for me. Save time for me. Maybe not you, but for me. Okay, let's put in the pencil marks as start as you mean to go on. I should have done it on the first time around anyway. This is two and four going there. Now I said I have a pair of, what was it, three and eight, three, eight blocking like this. Um, so we've got three and eight in those squares there. Uh, now there's quite a lot of pairs that I've spotted around the place, but uh, so we've got ones here and we've got ones up there. And we've got ones here, and we've got ones down there. What else do we know? Twos are in those squares. These are there and somewhere down there. I 
I say, quite a lot of pears around, really. It's like a fruit market. All right, so our basic stuff is in, and uh, probably the place to begin is this, where we have, have this street eight pair here, probably. So uh, let's stick in some more candidates. So we've got ones in those squares there. We've got two blocking up and across here like this, so twos in those squares. Three, four, five, six, seven, blocking down here and across there. So seven in those squares there. Uh, eight, eight is done, of course. Three, eight, and then nine, blocking and giving us nine in those squares there. I think. Uh, let's come down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, no, no idea on six. Nine blocking across here. So is this a single six? I think it might be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It is. So that's a six to go there. So let's do some housekeeping. Got to do lots of housekeeping with this kind of game. Keep on top of it. <coughs> And so we get a pair of sixes there, and now we had nines in those squares, so that two can be removed, and we can place a two in this square here, and that's going to give us twos across there. One, two, five. That's three numbers in three squares, so that six is no longer true. We'll remove the six, and we'll place our six here. And that can't be a 6, that's got to be a 9, and that's going to be a 6 there. Our 9 means that this can't be a 9 over here, let's remove it. And that's going to give us a pair of 9s there. at the board again four across here so that's a pair of fours there That can't be six now, that must be six in that square. And six across here, across here, and six blocking up here. We'll put six into that square. And this is the only nine available in this block now. And a five goes in this square here. Five blocking across here and five up here means that that's a five. And so that will give us a power. Oh, look at that three five pair there. Ha ha. Nice. Um, we've also got five blocking this square, so that must be a five. Uh, four, seven, eight. 
uh, four blocks up here so we're going to have a pair of fours there and four blocks down here and up there and across there so that must be a four this can't be a four must be a two four is in that square there and our two means that this can't be no ever did I put everything in this block I think I finished this block didn't I so that's going to be a one this has to be a two and we've got some removals to do let's get rid of the one and the two there and let's get rid of the one there six seven nine left yeah that seems to be okay and then we've got one across here across here and one down there so that must be a one so that gives us a one in that square and uh, removal of the one there something is missing eight right so what do we know about eight? Oh, no not yet eight so a pair there this is not a pair of three and four because three is still possible there so mustn't make that mistake uh, we do have a nine here so this is going to be a four so that is a four and that is not four uh, three and eight in those squares so we're going to get whatever it is that goes up here and whatever it is that goes up there is seven I think let's choose the right mode that gives me a pair of sevens down there Aha, uh -huh. seven down here and seven across here I bet the notation free um, crowd are really enjoying the game bec f the way that they play it because a lot of pairs are given I could see again so up to this point there certainly is a way forward without notation that's not too tricky I, I think unless I've made a mistake somewhere this will be a three that's the only number left in this block here we've got a four over here so that's going to be a seven that must be our eight this must be our seven we'll have three over here we'll have eight over there and three in that square there and a nine back over here and we will eliminate the nine from that block <coughs> okay so far so good there's one digit missing over here that looks to be an eight to me does it to you so then that's going to be our three and that'll be our eight three means this can't be three that must be three and this is not nine the other missing digit is what seven seven to go there Ah, we've got seven blocking up here so that is going to put seven into that square so that'll be seven that'll be nine this must be nine and this is six well so much for being impossible I think not impossible don't you one there let's eliminate that this is an eight I think an eight yep and uh, we also have eights in those squares there uh, missing numbers here are two and four and we've got two blocking this square here so we know we've got a pair of three and five here so that is in fact going to be the two and that's going to be the four so four here eight there eight across here across there here hey oh, hey 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 pressing all the wrong keys here sorry uh, eight going up there that is our eight so we know that's the seven and that's the one oh excuse me I hit the wrong thing one there one there this, this has not been anything like impossible has it <laughs> uh, absolutely not impossible in any way a really easy game oh god if I could only hit the right things here five there absolutely uh, um, the easiest uh, impossible one that I've ever tried I think normally it's uh, much more difficult than this so there's the uh, possible game I think we should call it the possible Sudoku from uh, the LA Times for Sunday the 16th okay I'll see you next week for more Sudoku uh, take care bye bye